Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to download, how to install, and how to operate the software known as, as Identex. Identex is a software that is used for the identification of uh, clinical isolates of bacteria uh, based on their biochemical characteristics. So if you have uh, a system of biochemical characterization like the ABI 20E uh, or other any, any other system, you can make use of this software to make life easier uh, through uh, uh, the help of this software. Let us start by searching for the website by typing in Identex software download. Uh, usually it will be the first uh, page in the Google search. We will click. This page will show us uh, many features of the uh, Identex uh, bacterial identifier software. Uh, one of them is the download area and the other one is the matrices. Uh, in addition to uh, screenshots and uh, any other, uh, many other informations that can be useful to you. Uh, let us start by downloading the platform independent Java jar and uh, let me irritate and uh, irritate and uh, uh, confirm that this uh, software requires Java. So if you don't have Java on your in your uh, computer, you have to download it and we can uh, show you how from where to download that software. So okay, well, let us start by downloading the platform independent uh, Java jar and the Java source code. Those are the two files that are required. Uh, of course, we have the Identex user manual, which can uh, run you step by step on how to operate and to make use of this uh, wonderful software. Uh, before going to the uh, installation, we, we, we should have a look uh, 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 on the matrices. Matrices are uh, uh, either Excel sheets or uh, in the IMAT format, uh, which is the format of the uh, Identex software. Uh, it accepts both, but uh, if the file is in Excel, uh, Excel file, it should be converted or imported into the IMAT format. We will show you uh, how to do it later on, inshallah, in this video. So we have to download uh, some of these matrices matrices are uh, uh, as they are known matrices uh, uh, they are the uh, microorganisms and the test and the result of these tests for each of the, the microorganism listed in that matrices they are organized into different uh, groups of microorganism uh, like uh, you see here at the uh, screen the enterococcus key the vibrio key vibrio key is available in two formats which one uh, is the Excel format and the other one is the IMAT format. We have to uh, browse further. We can download the most commonly used uh, matrix, which is the Enterobacteria C matrix. We also can download the uh, gram-negative aerobic fermentative ruts, the gram-positive aerobic cocci, and the lactobacillus species. Okay, we have uh, downloaded uh, a lot of uh, these matrices. We can now go to the folder that we downloaded this file. We will select all the files that we have downloaded. We will copy them or We can also make a new file, I mean, new folder, I mean. Let's name it. Identex 2022. Then you based all of your file that you have downloaded. One of them is the uh, Identex 1.2 uh, SRC. Uh, uh, this file 
is a zipped vial. You can extract it here. Now your file uh, or your uh, software is ready if you have actually your Java installed on the machine you will see the icon of Java uh, at, uh, at the opposite side of the identex 1.2 if you don't see this uh, uh, icon here th this means that you don't have Java on your on your so uh, in your PC and you need to download it from the Java download we can show you how to download manually the Java or you can depending on your computer system is it a 64 or 30, 32 bit you can choose the uh, download it is very uh, simple procedures you just download and install before I, I uh, record this uh, screen I do downloaded the Windows offline 64 bit version and it works fine uh, for me going back to the software Identex you can just double click on this software you will you will have this uh, uh, starting screen which is composed of three uh, main components new workspace restore previous workspace and open matrix library library uh, we will we will try uh, to start with this one uh, of course I have uh, many libraries inst installed in my computer before but when, when you operate it for the first time, you will find only this one, which is the example library, which has nothing. Uh, so you have to Im import new libraries, and we will show you how to import these libraries. Back to main menu, file, import matrix. Then you will select the uh, data uh, um, either the enterobacteriaceae or the gram negative rods or the gram negative cocci we will select the enterobacteriaceae uh, okay we can give it uh, a new name let's say enterobacteriaceae family and you can write uh, identifying information about this matrix let's say this is used to identify gram negative oxidase negative bacteria Here you can find the uh, tests that are employed by this matrix, the motility at 25, 37, yellow pigment, and many other uh, tests. Here you will find, at uh, this box, you will find the list of bacteria that are identified by this matrix. It is really very easy process. You just say import, and well, you have one uh, uh, database uh, one matrix that is ready to be used by this software if you want to use this software you will say that we are going to uh, uh, have a new work space and you you will select the uh, matrix and we have uh, added the enterobacteriaceae family so we'll say great workspace in this workspace we will find three main uh, screens or boxes one that is used to identify the taxa the taxon of the bacteria 
and you will you will see uh, a list of bacteria that are uh, uh, arranged based on the percentage of identity at this moment they are arranged alphabetically because uh, uh, i did not enter any of the result of the test uh, the, the recommended undone test this is a, a list of tests that is suggested by the uh, software for you to further identify your microorganism let us start by uh, selecting the positive and negative we have three columns here positive negative and non so you don't need to have all of these biochemical tests to be done for any of the organisms that uh, you are uh, uh, testing let's say you you have performed only the motility at 37 degrees but you did not um, uh, perform it for the motility at 25 so you will say it is unknown and uh, uh, this this column will be checked you you did not notice any yellow pigment so it is negative you did not notice any red pigment so it is negative it grows on maconkey yes it grows catalase positive yes arginine dehydrolase let's say negative lysine decarboxylase let's say positive ornithine decarboxylase positive urease let's say negative h2s negative salmon citrate also negative ombg positive ppa not done vp not done indole positive you you you, sh you should keep an eye an eye on the uh, list of the microorganisms and see the percentage of similarity between the tests that you have entered right now and the organism at this moment Ishirishi Hermani is the uh, top scorer for this uh, from this group followed by Ishirishi coli let us continue and see what will happen uninstall lactose positive see now Ishirishi coli is on the top maltose positive mannitol positive raffinose positive no it should be negative for Ishisha coli sorbitol positive notice now that uh, the uh, uh, the result has stopped uh, accepting a new test and uh, uh, the organism that is being identified is now announced to you which is Ishirishia coli and the final identification score is 99.9 percent .9%. you can uh, either export the summary or view the summary we will try to view the summary which is a text file you can save it this is the test that you have entered and this is the result that has been uh, uh, obtained this is other options however it shows that these options uh, are far away from your uh, selected microorganism so I, I, I as, as I'm saying this is a very easy to use software you can either uh, continue identification if you have still more tests and you are not satisfied with this organism you can uh, continue identification or you can back to ma the main menu and uh, make a new workspace and uh, identify another organism uh, this is the way how uh, identex bacterial identification system works it is as i said very easy uh, you can make your own matrix in an excel format and then import it uh, uh, to your software uh, I mean customized based on the availability of the test in your laboratory I hope this video was useful to you many thanks Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh